we're going from this to this. You guys, I just watched the best tutorial from Natasha at Treasured Books. If you don't know who she is, I will leave a link down below for this exact tutorial. I have got to show you this. Look at the cute journal handbag or journal purse, either way. Can you believe that this is a little notebook inside here? It is so cute. So I did some things different than she did. And so I'm gonna show you what I did that was different. This is just so cute. When you uh, take a look inside, you get to see the pockets that I have created. For her tutorial, she actually created this page and then she stitched the pockets after. Because I had already glued my page on, I stitched the postcards and then I just adhered them on with a red line adhesive tape. I wanted to make sure that I could fit all of these cute little ephemera pieces in the pocket. And so I made sure to have enough space that the pieces would fit in there. And then I put little punches in the sides of the envelope because this is an opening here. And there's another opening on the other side here. And so I thought by adding a punch to the side, it would help it be able to be more recognizable and also easier to access the things that are inside there. So the actual notebook itself is in the center here and it's just blank pages that have been stitched in. You certainly could do this junk journal style and use a variety of junk journal type pages. This is like a really cute handbag. The other thing that I did that was different is the closure. So instead of doing the loop closure, and the main reason why I didn't do the loop closure is because I had these beautiful little flare badges from My Dearest Ephemeral, which is the collection that I am working with here. I thought I would go ahead and do a Velcro closure instead so that it is easily opened and closed like that. And the other thing that was really inspiring to me is I just got my order in from BB Craft and I thought that is the perfect use for those gorgeous bubblegum beads that I have been so excited. I've been looking for these bubblegum beads forever. I stitched them together and instead of actually creating straps down the back and gluing the strings that way, I actually punched with my awl a little hole inside of the envelope. And then I took the embroidery floss that I got from my last BB Craft haul and I used it to basically string together these beads. So how cute is that? I also did not do anything on the back. You could do another pocket or something back there, but I actually really liked the simplicity and I loved just the striped handbag look that it had. I did go ahead and add some different fun touches to this paper. I did three different sets of splatters with my shimmers. I used some gold to edge the exterior and I did go in and ink the edges as well. I decided to go in with some seam binding and actually add a little trim to the edge to give one final finishing touch to the purse. So that was all part of what I did different there. But yeah, I'm just so excited. If you wanna see, actually, I have some other things that I created with the BB Craft order. I was showing you how I had these new sequin binders that I wanted to create like an October daily in. Well, I did a cute little dangle off the side of the binder 
with those same bubblegum beads, this time in the orange that I did, and using that bar that I had, that I had been looking for for a long time. And then it's just clipped in here. So you can see how it is clipped in like that. So that's just dangling over the edge. And now a nice little accessory to the edge of my binder. And then the other edging that I created is right here. And look at this gorgeous bar that I created with all these pink and gold and blue beads. These sparkles and all these cute little gems and things. So that is the edge of one of my junk journals that I created, all inspired by Daphne's diary. If you want to see a flip through for this, I have a whole flip through that you can watch on my video. I also have tutorials on how I've made junk journals from, it's basically an altered book is what this is. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time.